asked me to make a video on therapy, on finding items in therapy, because, well, one, because I didn't go from scratch, and two, because the, the interface in therapy changed since last time I did the video. So usually what I do is I keep a list of sellers um, and keep going back to those sellers every couple, like when I want something to sell, I have maybe like a list of 100 dropshippers. I'll run them in therapy, take their top items that sell at least eight in the past 30 days, list them for less money with the same title, maybe new ima more images, and, and just keep going from there. So th my strategy on finding things to sell is pretty basic. Um, there's no renaming images, no SEO, no none of that shit. So let's find a drop shipper. So earlier I searched for manual cardio treadmill. If you notice, most of the, f not most, every time you search for something, the guys that show up on top are not necessarily cheapest, but they're always someone who like sells a lot or has a lot of watches. Most of the, and that would come from what eBay uses to list, to order the, the search results. I'll get into that in another video. But let's open open up this link. The first, he sold 45, so it should be a decent item. We still don't know if it's a dropship item. So I open the link. My internet is pretty horrible, so hopefully it'll come up really quickly. Right. You could, he doesn't have his description protected, so we get to search the description. The guy who have the description protected, I either type it up and search it, or I'll search the image. Let's right click the image and hit search, if you're in Google Chrome. So right, so we find the first thing we see is Walmart, well other than the ad. Um, I'll just open this page. My internet is pretty shitty, so I just open my cash page. So it's 89 bucks. Now he's selling it for it's the same item, it's just a different main, ima main image. If you look, Westlow 3 point treadmill, they have the same images here, but it's 89 bucks. He's selling it for 112.99. So this is a calculator that I use newlifeauctions.com so you choose store the item cost is 89 bucks he's selling it for 112.99 profit margin $10 that's a decent profit margin it's a less than 10 percent of what you're selling it for and here at DSGN we get gift cards for five percent off so this 89 bucks will actually be about four dollars less so our cost It'd be like eighty-five dollars. We'll get into it after. So the profit margin actually for it's fourteen twenty-five, which is perfect. So we could sell the same item for maybe one oh nine ninety-nine, make eleven bucks, be this price. All right. So we know that we know we could take that item, but we still don't know if it's he sold it more than eight times the past thirty days. But I just did that to find a drop shipper um, to add to my list, right? So I'll copy this guy. This is just what I do. I'll copy this guy. Uh, let's open. I have a lot of lists of sellers, but I'm just showing my exact process. Copy this guy. List of sellers. And then put him here, right? My next process, once I find a drop shipper, I'll now go to Terapeak and check out his stats. So I'm here in Terapeak. This is the main dashboard. You want to go to in depth research. You want to search competitor research, and then you want to put in the seller that you just found. And I'll go through a couple of key statistics that I use to decide if to keep the seller or not. I usually change this to, to 30 days. It's in Spanish because I'm in Nicaragua, but um, I usually change this to 30 days. Let's search again. Okay, so the main statistics you see from this guy. His average item is $133. That's perfect. That's, I try to sell around 100 bucks. He only has 78 listings, and he's selling $25,000 a month in the past 30 days with 78 listings. His sell through rate is 100%. What that 100% means is that every single listing that he listed, all of these 78 listings that were listed in the past 30 days, you see total listings, successful listings, and so on, every one of them sold at least once. Now, I personally like quality listings, so I'll only take the items that sold more than eight times, more, like twice a week. That's how, I, that's how I'm, I'm thinking, right? So we have the basic statistics. So I usually 
There are some guys selling 100 grand a month, 300. I've seen someone sell 1.6 million a month you, you doing this, right? Me personally, I like to, my list of sellers that I go back to take items from, I like to keep them guys who are selling between like five or 10,000 a month up to 30,000. What that usually means is that they're selling consistently, but they're not either full-time or not very, very professional, not taking it as seriously. When you try to compete against guys selling like $100,000 a month like myself, you'll notice that these guys keep tight track on competition, price changes, so it's a lot harder to, to, com to compete with these guys. The profit margin is also a lot lower. Anyway, so that's the main statistics on the main page when you search this guy. Now, when you go to this little link here, it says your comp competitor's best-selling titles. So when you hit that, I'll show you what comes up. So basically, what would come up is his best items. They usually order it by, by how much the monetary value of it sold. I want items that sold at least eight times. Now, all of the items are buy nows. So if you order by bids, the total bids are basically how many items that were sold. So if you order it by bid, Let's see how many. So he has one, two, three, four, five items that sold more than eight times in the past 30 days. You could take the others. That's up to you. But me personally, I only take items that sold at least five times, at least eight times. Sorry. What do you, this item that we found is sold 10 times. So we're definitely going to take this item, right? So let's just say we want to find, want to find, we found this item, so we know that. But let's just say we want to find this thing here, the King's Grill. Because we know we could list this, we could list this, but let's find the King's Grill. So we go back to eBay. We go to Advanced Search. Search by Seller. And then you put the seller's name here. Search, right? So that's all his items, basically, I guess. Um, now what you want to do is search for the thing we talked about, the King's Fud, blah, blah, blah. So we can just go in here, search for King's Fud, or is it King Fud? King's Fud. King's Fud. Search it. It comes up. Let me see if this is the right one, because he has two. <sighs> So yeah, this is the one for one ten ninety nine. So we open it. Interesting because it says it's trending at one nineteen, right? So let's search for the source, like where he's getting it from. Right. So it's Walmart for eighty eight bucks. So let's check to see his profit margin. 88, he has it for what, 110? 110.99. He's making nine bucks, right? Um, again, at DSU, we get Walmart gift cards at a 5% discount. When I say we, we, we sell it to the guys who subscribe to us for a 5% discount. So our cost will be about 84, right? So the profit margin is about 30, 13 48 If we want to beat his price, again, I'm kind of, I like, to, some people do a dollar. I try to do as much as possible. Um, so that's, ten, I try to get 10% profit, right? So I know I could sell this for 108 bucks. I beat him by $2. There's no guarantee it would sell, but basically, um, what the ty I call this, the two type of listings, um, a list. I call this an evidence-based listing, and then there's a hunch-based listing. I'll get into that after. But all the evidence that we have says that it should sell for $109 from what we have, right? So if we want to go into DSGNI and list this item, we could go go back to DSGNI, hit Add Item. Remember, what we need for the Add Item is the eBay listing. So basically, the guy that we're sniping this from, eBay listing, external URL, the 
the price that we want to sell it at, what we decided at 108.99. Save. Oh no, this is a mistake. This is not the typo. Okay, just ignore that. I need to change one other thing and relist this. Where would I relist this? Where would I relist this? Alright. I mean, I don't ha actually, I don't have to go through the, the, the method of listing in DSG because you guys have a video on the same YouTube channel of that. So basically, what what we would have done again we found the source we know we've taken it we know we've beaten this price we're going to use the same amount of images or more the same title same description that's not a problem and we want to have all the indicators the the model mp and all that good stuff the, the brand and the upc and and listed and that's pretty much the system that i use to find items so what i will do is i'll go in therapy and Take this one, this one, this one, this one. That's four, five. So I'll list all five of these things if I could beat the price and still make a, a profit, mar a decent profit margin, right? So I have five items to list, and then, boom, finish that. Go find another, another drop shipper and keep it going like that. So that's more or less everything that I do to successfully list on a daily basis using Terapeak, right? Um, I think. I, and it's important that you guys use this method and understand this method before you use what we have in DSGNA because this is pretty much the basis of of the um, of the listing tool in DSGNA. All right, thanks for watching the video. Hope I didn't bore you. Comment, like, subscribe, and ask any questions. Have a good one. Hopefully, you're selling.